Well, this one was a doozy for quite a few different reasons. First of all, it sets up this premise of a former professional cello player, who after a decade of other obligations is once more free to do what she wants. So she contacts her former mentor and seems to want to get back into the thick of it. She then goes to Shanghai for this event, but her reasons for being there seem kind of flimsy. It's not really clear what she's doing there and what her plans are, but the movie is clearly building some tension and something is going on. What though is a bit unclear and at this point I'm just patiently waiting for something to happen. And what happens is that the movie takes a bit of a turn I was not expecting at all. Because I was under the impression that this was supposed to be a straight up thriller. But it turns into something else and that's when the movie became funny. Which I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be. Because it's billed as a horror thriller but the horror is hilariously bad. And the thriller aspects are so poorly handled that I was just shaking my head in disbelief. I mean, there's essentially two twists in this movie, one about halfway through and one at the end. And the first one I saw coming. I didn't think they would actually do it, but they did. And the second one, to its credit, came as a surprise to me. Mainly because it's so incredibly dumb I could have never even imagined it. So yeah, this movie is pretty much a lesson in how not to do twists. Because it does it sorta of right, but also completely wrong. It's kind of fascinating actually how incompetently done this movie is. Now it does actually sprinkle all the clues throughout the movie, so you could technically figure out the twists, which is important. However, the problem is the twists are just so illogical and far-fetched that they don't make any sense. But then on the other hand, the movie does give the characters motivations for their actions. Except that they don't make any sense either, they're just as absurd and ridiculous. And then we get to the big reveal toward the end. And it's just so dumb and completely unnecessarily twisted. So yeah, basically nothing in this movie makes any sense. It's dumb, it's illogical, it's poorly executed, it's basically a disaster. But here's the thing though, I was consistently laughing throughout the whole thing. Once the dam broke early on, it was over. I was just laughing hard, constantly. I was either shaking my head at the stupidity or laughing, or both. And I had a great time with this movie, I can't lie, it was a lot of fun, for all the wrong reasons. I mean, I think this is a bad movie, it really is, but to me at least it's so bad it's good. I was genuinely enjoying it and having a good time for most of it. It even provided one of the best laughs in the very last scene. Which is just absurd and played 100% straight by the way, as is the entire movie. There aren't really any hints at this being purposely ridiculous. Other than the consistency, I guess, because it's consistently funny. And one of the things that made it even better is Alison Williams. Because she's not the most dynamic actor around, her performance is usually a bit flat. That's not to say it's bad, she usually does a good job. It's just not very, well, dynamic, there's not a lot of range there. So her completely straight-faced performance just added another layer to it. And made it that much better because other actors would have been too dramatic. They would have played into it a lot more and made it less funny. Also Logan Browning did exactly that. She gave a lot more of a lively performance. Which just played perfectly with the toned down straight faced performance. Those two just worked so well together to create some really funny stuff. And I'm thankful for that because I was kind of prepared for this to suck. Just based on the feedback I'd been seeing. But honestly I wasn't expecting it to be funny. So that was a pleasant surprise and at least something good came out of it. But would I recommend this? Not really, unless you're into bad movies, then maybe give it a look. But I'd say it's pretty safe to skip it. Or don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to start taking some private cello lessons. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.